All right, so a while ago, while I was uh, checking on my rod and reel to make sure that it was uh, acting right, it uh, I my rod wouldn't reel in, and this button right here was loose. And I'm going to show you how to fix that since when I tried to look for it, it took me two days to figure it out since there are no other videos or resources about it online. All right, so first you're going to want to get this. So I'm trying to do this one hand. Get this uh, silver piece, the top piece off of your real so then once you've done that you should see well for me then this piece right here it wasn't sticking out this should be sticking out if it's not sticking out I'll uh, show you how to make it stick out because this would catch the line and pull it in. So you're going to take this off. And it'll be fine if you take this off. You can take this off, right? And the problem that I've seen is that this spring right here, this spring came off. And make sure that all these uh, parts are intact. And if this falls off, right, you could just pop everything back on. And uh, yeah, okay, look. So if I try to reel it in, right? This gear pushes this gear, which makes this reel in, which should be working. And uh, it's kind of hard to put the spring back on. But uh, once you get it on, it should stay on there, so you'll be fine after that. And uh, your button being loose, well, I'm going to show you how it was with me. So it would be off. It would just be in here, hanging out like that. And you're going to notice that there's two pieces i mean not two pieces like two two little indents right here right and there's two things to go into those indents then we're, we're going to put those inside well, i mean not inside them on them like this then just push down and it will well you're going to hear a click and it will go inside of them now once you've done that you got to make sure that uh, this small gear is right here, and the spring is on tight. I was, like I was saying, uh, it's kind of hard to get the spring on. So you're going to use a lot of force. I mean, if you're a kid like me. Oh, hold on. I don't know how people do these videos before me. So just pop it and make sure that it is on the right way. If you want, you could just take your line and put it through this hole right here. I know you should take your line and put it through that hole right there. Just got to twist. Yo, my line just disappeared. I don't know where it went, but I'll get it back after. Make sure that this is not loose anymore and it's tight. You can press it down. Make sure that it clicks. And hold on, let me get my line back out to show you that. Oh, one more thing. Uh, if you do all that, right, and this is still not popping out, just move it uh, around like this, like in a counterclock. No, not counterclockwise. I don't know what it is, but just spin it like this, and it should come down. You should hear a pop. Then this will come out. It's off the rod, and this will be a lot easier. You gotta make sure that it's on the right way, which is what I'm doing right now. And you gotta make sure that it's tight once you get it on. And the line almost disappeared again. Now, once it is on, you're gonna wanna tug the line a little bit. And if your line is not moving or coming out anymore, you're, it's good. You can reel in now. And your line will come. I do it or something. Well, I can't do this with one hand. Will come in. And if it uh if it's still going right, you should move your uh. <laughs> give me a second. I haven't been fishing for that long, so I don't know what this is. But you're going to spin this into uh you know just spin this for for a little bit, right? Then spin it back. Then when it stops, spin it forward again. 
and when it stops and you spin it forward again there should be a click sound down here then it would start to reel in again and after all that it should be back to normal i'm sorry if my instructions weren't really that straight uh and i put my phone down a lot i can't do this with one hand work with me